welcome to today's session brought to you by Team Baiju's Exam Prep. I hope all of you are doing really well this Saturday evening, this Saturday afternoon, beg your pardon. Without further ado, let's just very quickly get started. Today, we will be looking at British writings with tricks. A very important question that is related to how are we supposed to be covering British literature, British literature ka jo component hai, usse kaise study kare. A tip uh, which is very important that all of you should remember is that British British literature is a one-time investment. Agar aap ek baar apne notes pure ke puri achhi tarah se collate kar lete hain, you'll see that this is going to be helpful for almost all the entrances that you will be writing. So it's a humble request ke agar aap logon ne kabi bhi British literature ke upar notes nahi banaye hain, to make it a point ke at least ek baar aap structured way mein notes bana rahe hain. After that, what you'll be able to see? Ji, dobara se start karna padega. Hello and a very warm welcome to today's session brought to you by Team Baiju's Exam Prep. I hope all of you are doing really well this Saturday afternoon. Without further ado, let's just very quickly get started with today's session. Hi Nidhi, hi Fan Liping, Shalu, Krishna, Deepak. Uh, hi everyone. Chaliye, jaldi se session ko start karte hain. Aaj a priority will be to look at British history. We will be covering 50 quick important pointers on British history and I'll be telling you how you can cover it uh, properly. Uh, so we Without further ado, let's just very quickly get started. Now, two things that I want you all to remember. If you have never compiled British literature notes ko compile nahi kiya hai, either in written format or e-formats, it's a humble suggestion that do make it a point that at least once you're trying to compile your British literature notes because British literature becomes the starting point. Just say, in this session, we have collated all the pointers. They are all pointers which we are revising that we have studied on the free app platform or on the YouTube platform itself. So, this is a quick revision. Hai. And why am I saying it's important for you to have one uh, series of notes prepared? Because if you have your notes prepared, hai, you will be able to see that when you practice karte hai, questions, ko, you can always add on to pointers. Just say, today we will talk about Client Brooks ka Well Wrought Urn. And Client Brooks ka Well Wrought Urn is looking at John Dunn's canonization. So, if you have your metaphysical notes, hai, you can always add those questions. Ya fir, uh, you know, eternal, eternal winter, mind forged manacles. Ye terms, kon kon si poems, Blake ki mein aate hai. We'll talk about it in today's session. So it is very important ke ek baar, agar aapne kabhi bhi British history ko structured way mein nahi study kiya hai, to it is a humble request, it is a humble uh, important uh, suggestion that definitely make it a point ke aap at least ek baar British history ke notes ko compile kar rahe hai. You will see the magic coming in, you will be able to see their ultimate things become better. Aaj ke is session mein, what is going to be the primary focus and agenda? We will be looking at British history. Uh, we will be covering British history and that too, uh, looking at them with tricks. Achha, aaj ki jo tricks hai, what kind of tricks are these? Hai? Teen tarha ki broad category of tricks hoti hai. One is when you try to create an acronym um, and, and that makes your study very, very simple. The second trick is to study every writer in a very very organized manner. And the third trick is when you make pointers. Just if you are studying, what are you able to see? You are able to see that, you know, uh, you are able to create. I'll just uh, make sure that, you know, I give the announcement to everybody that we are live so that all of you can also uh, join. Just give me one second. I will tell everybody. Uh, I'm also going to be getting the studio uh, set up arranged at home so i think it's going to be a little better for all of you so that i can take it up from session one second let me just quickly share it with everybody is telegram gone Alright, right. So, uh, what you have to basically keep in mind is that your next category of tricks hai, that is whenever you're practicing questions, okay? Jaise, uh, aajkal, uh, abhi, you know, when we are having the, uh, the the classroom program, I have a couple of students, like, I don't know if Shania is watching this. Shania is like a sweetheart. Uh, so, Shania is always having doubts on the doubts platform and otherwise also she's attending the classes very regularly and I hope, fingers crossed, that she gets a JRF for us this time or definitely in the next time. So, uh, 
अब अब यू नो द द चाइल्ड हैज वेरी वेरी ब्यूटीफुल क्यूट इनोसेंट डाउट्स जो स्टार्टिंग में आते हैं विच पीपल आर ऑलवेज हैविंग वेन दे वेन दे स्टार्ट देर प्रेपरेशन सो शी लास्ट क्वेश्चन लाइक यू नो हाउ एम आई सपोज टू बी कवरिंग वॉट नीड्स टू बी डन तो अब अगर आपने यू नो इफ यू प्रैक्टिसिंग प्रीवियस ईयर्स क्वेश्चन और आपने दस क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस करे सो वट इज अ गुड स्ट्रैटेजी यू कैन एक्चुअली राइट डाउन पॉइंटर्स ऑन एफ ओ साइज शीट्स एंड यू कैन कोलेट दैम तो आज जो थर्ड फॉर्मैट ऑफ ट्रिक्स है दैट इज वेन एवर यू आर लुकिंग एट प्रीवियस ईयर्स क्वेश्चन स्टडिंग दैम इन पॉइंट फॉर्मैट एंड देन अटैचिंग दो पॉइंटर्स टू दर रिस्पेक्टिव चैप्टर्स आई आई प्रॉब्ली शो यू माई बुक्स फॉर इंस्टेंस लाइक यू नो अगर आपकी कोई भी बुक आप फॉलो कर रहे हैं एडवर्ड एल्बर्ट हो गया ओरियन ब्लैक स्वॉन हो गया या फिर प्रमोद के नायर हो गया या आपका विलियम जे लॉन्ग हो गया रॉटलज हो गया आप कोई भी बुक ब्रिटिश हिस्ट्री के लिए फॉलो करते हैं दैट बुक एक्चुअली बिकम्स अ मेगा बुक क्योंकि उसमें आपके नोट्स भी आ जाने चाहिए यू कैन एक्चुअली स्टेपल दोज एज वेल दैट रियली हेल्प्स यू ओवरऑल ओके गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून नीलम देवशीष समीना पूजा सुरातिया आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू गेटिंग प्रेप्टा फॉर द जून अटैम्प्ट टू बी वेरी स्ट्रक्चर्ड एंड मेक श्योर दैट यू मेक द मोस्ट ऑफ दिस अटैम्प्ट एज वेल ओके तो आज हम लोग वी विल बी लुकिंग एट ब्रिटिश हिस्ट्री वाया पॉइंटर्स देर आर अ कपल ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंटर्स दैट विल बी कवरिंग द फर्स्ट फाइव पॉइंटर्स जो कल फ्री एप सेशन हो रहा था टेन थर्टी पी एम पर आई हैड शेड दैट लिंक वी कूडेंट कंप्लीट दैट सेशन सो द फर्स्ट फाइव पॉइंटर्स आर अ क्विक रिविजन फ्रॉम दैट एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल बी लुकिंग एट अदर पॉइंटर्स सो प्लीज रिमेंबर ब्रिटिश हिस्ट्री बिकम्स इंपॉर्टेंट प्लीज रिमेंबर टू कवर ब्रिटिश हिस्ट्री इन द बेस्ट पॉसिबल मैनर ऑल टूगेदर ओके ओके दीपक हैज आस्ट वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन दैट वेर आर वी सपोज टू बी पेइंग अटेंशन अच्छा अब मैं आपको एक बात बता देती हूँ पहले क्या होता था पहले वी यूज टू टेल पीपल दैट यू नो मेक श्योर दैट आफ्टर रोमांटिक एज आफ्टर रोमांटिक एज यू आर कवरिंग एवरी थिंग बिकॉज मॉडर्न एज विक्टोरियन एज पोस्ट मॉडर्न एज से क्वेश्चन बहुत सारे आते हैं बट नाउ यू विल बी एबल टू सी दैट दे आस्क यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ऑल ऑल एस्पेक्ट जैसे इनलाइटनमेंट या रोगस्टन एज से वो आपको पीरियोडिकल्स पूछ लेते हैं या फिर यू ऑल्सो गेट क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू यू नो वॉर ऑफ थिएटर्स वॉर ऑफ थिएटर्स जो आपका जिकोबियन एज में आ रहा है सो आई वुड से दैट हियर ऑलवेज पे अटेंशन इट्स अ वेरी स्कोरिंग यूनिट British literature is an exceptionally scoring unit so do not leave anything and read it like a story cover it like a story so that is a very interesting question and, and that's a very good question that you've asked ki kaun sa what is the uh, important uh, concept jispe hum logo ko primarily focus karna hai so let's quickly get started i want all of you to have your pen papers in your hand i want you, if you are if you're probably using your uh, your e notebook or whatever you're using just make, make sure that you have it in your uh, hand and keep on making notes because that's going to be very very helpful theek hai kal hum logo ne jo class start kari thi we had started on if you remember with chaucer's work just me morpheus aata hai right so remember the book of duchess so this is how you have to make connections and recollect everything and that is the first point for british literature for today that is the first important point book of duchess by geoffrey chaucer yahan par what are we able to see we are able to see that this particular work book of duchess kya tha it was a elegy that was written right remember <coughs> when we are looking at book of duchess uh, which part are we able to see that you know book of duchess is coming in kal hum logo ne question bhi kiya tha ki in which work does the character of morpheus comes in maine link bheja tha telegram platform par i shared the link on the now because your exam dates are almost around the corner please make sure that you stay connected with me i'll be aggressively making sure that we meet you all regularly so uh, just uh, make sure that all of you are interacting with us through the platform okay so the book of duchess what are we able to see that this becomes an example of an elegy to so, jab john of gaunt jo ki patron the chaucer ke unki wife ki death ho gayi thi to so, what are we able to see book of duchess was written book of duchess was written because remember chaucer was also kind of a public figure okay and what are we acha aaj ek question uh, i don't know i think i've not included in this deck poet laureates ke upar uh, but we were talking about how john dryden was the first officially appointed poet laureate the first royal historiographer to ye sare pointers bhi aapko achhi tarah se dhyan mein rakhne chahiye so what are we able to see ke beginning of the poem mein there is a sleepless poet and this sleepless poet now compare this he has suffered from this sickness 
दिस फॉर एट ईयर्स एट ईयर्स ऐसे छोटे छोटे चीजें भी आपको पूछी जा सकती हैं एंड वॉट आर वी एबल टू सी वी आर एबल टू सी दैट ही इज रीडिंग अ बुक दिस बुक इज टेलिंग यू द स्टोरी ऑफ सी एक्स एंड एल्सॉन एंड वॉट आर वी एबल टू सी वी आर एबल टू सी दैट सी एक्स ने अपनी लाइफ को ही लॉस्ट इज लाइफ एट द सी एंड यू नो एल्सी इन द वाइफ शी वॉज रियली सैड शी वॉज ग्रीफ स्ट्रिकन शी वॉज मोर्निंग राइट सो कैन यू सी द कनेक्शन कैन यू सी द कनेक्शन के ओकेजन क्या था बुक ऑफ डचेस वॉज रिटर्न ऑन द डेथ ऑफ 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 द्लांश ऑफ लैंकैस्टर हु इज द वाइफ ऑफ जॉन ऑफ गॉन्ट सो वॉट आर वी एबल टू सी वी आर एबल टू सी दैट द स्टोरी इज ऑल्सो टेलिंग यू अबाउट टू पेयर लाइक यू नो अ कपल वेयर द वाइफ इज मोर्निंग द डेथ यू नो ऑफ हर हजबेंड ओवरऑल एंड वॉट इज शी एबल टू सी शी इज प्रेइंग टू गॉड इज जूनो टू सेंड हर अ ड्रीम विशन एंड जूनो देन सेंड मोरफियस कल हम लोगों ने यही क्वेश्चन फ्री आर प्लेटफॉर्म में किया था दैट वॉट वर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट किस पर्टिकुलर वर्क में यू हैव द कैरेक्टर ऑफ मोरफियस मोरफियस का जो कैरेक्टर है वो बुक ऑफ डचेस में आता है विच इज एलर्जी विच इज थ्रेनोडी विच इज अ मोनोडी दैट इज रिटर्न ऑन द डेथ ऑफ ब्लैंड ऑफ लैंकैस्टर हु इज अ वाइफ ऑफ जॉन ऑफ गॉन्ट हु वॉज जॉन ऑफ गॉन्ट जॉन ऑफ गॉन्ट वॉज जॉन ऑफ गॉन्ट वॉज द the patron of chofri chosa uh, yes you should uh, of course deepa cover anglo saxon period also tabhi main aapko keh rahi hu ki agar aapko ek baar ek skeleton to you know aap aisa kar sakte hain jaise kal aap pura din baithiye कोई भी एक बुक पढ़ लीजिए हेनरी हटसन पढ़ लीजिए या यू नो कोई कोई सिंपल सी भी बुक पढ़ लीजिए या एक एक ऑनलाइन समरी विकिपीडिया पे पढ़ लीजिए ब्रिटिश लिटरेचर की एक अपने ब्रीफ स्केलेटन नोट्स बनाइए फिर उसके बाद जो हम लोग जितनी प्रैक्टिस करते रहते हैं या इवन ऑन यूट्यूब वीव डन सो मेनी प्रैक्टिस सेशन आप देखेंगे आज के सेशन में ही आपको इतना सारा कॉन्टेंट मिल जाएगा मिडिल इंग्लिश के ऊपर सो जस्ट मेक श्योर दैट यू आर बींग वेरी 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 जुडिशियस वाइज स्मार्ट वेन यू क्रिएटिंग योर ओन notes that's really important okay so just keep that in mind so yahan par what are you able to see that morpheus comes in morpheus brings the body of cx with a message to alcine right and what are you able to see we are able to see after that of course the poet awakes so dream vision ka pura ka pura aaya hai he is trying to tell you about his dream also so here book of duchess ek to aapko ye sare ke sare pointers yaad rakhne hain uh, you need to keep these pointers properly in mind you should remember that how you know uh, the the poet is suffering from a disease he's lying for 8 years uh, then of course he's reading this book which tells you the story of cx and alson both of them are separated because cx dies and we are able to see that morpheus morpheus in that dream right uh, is coming in and he is bringing the body of cx for alson okay so dream within a dream that aspect is coming in so please be careful remember yesterday hum log classroom class mein kya kar rahe the we were talking about roman a cliff roman a cliff kis context mein hum log roman a cliff ke bare mein bol rahe the when we were studying afra ben as a critic i hope you remember classroom students i hope you remember when we were studying afra ben as a critic and remember we said astria astria is the 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 word that she is using for a poetry afra ben was also right writing poetry so make connections make connections because until and unless you will not be able to make connections altogether aditya the poet is having a dream right the poet is having the dream book of duchess is written by the poet to commemorate the death of blanche of lancaster and what are we able to see that in the dream there is the story of of cx and alcine in which alcine is praying to juno to give a vision of the the husband because she is mourning very good fan lipping code name okay so please keep that in mind so ye sari cheeze always take like you know a, a proper mind shot more than a screenshot is very important for you to take a mind shot that is also really important and keep on connecting things because that will make sure that you are on the right track overall okay all right so let's move on now to the next pointer this was the first pointer for today let's quickly go on uh ओके हियर वी गो ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन दिस इज रियली सिंपल ये वाला क्वेश्चन आई डोंट नो व्हाई इतनी बार uh, आता है जॉफरी चौसर वॉज वॉज एक्चुअली राइटिंग ही वॉज वन ऑफ द मोनार्क्स हु हैड सीन थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट किंग्स ड्राइडन के केस में भी व्हाट आर वी एबल टू सी ड्राइडन के केस में भी ड्राइडन द फादर ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटररी क्रिटिसिजम रिमेंबर ड्राइडन इज फेमसली कॉल्ड एज द फादर ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटररी क्रिटिसिजम सो वॉट आर वी एबल टू सी इन द केस ऑफ ड्राइडन ऑल्सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग विद 
Dryden. Dryden is writing. Dryden is writing on Cromwell. Dryden is writing on Cromwell. Then he is writing Astria Redux, Star Reborn. Uh, why? Why is he writing that to commemorate the arrival of Charles the Second? When is Charles the Second coming in? Charles the Second is coming on 29th May. He is coronated on 29th May, 1660. Remember? I hope everybody, classroom students, day before yesterday, when we were studying an essay on dramatic poesy, we were talking about all these things. I hope you are able to make connections. So Dryden also is writing about Cromwell. Is writing about Charles the First. Is also uh, becoming a Catholic when James the Second comes to power. James the Second is coming to power from 1665 to, sorry, uh, yeah. So when is what is the tenure of James the Second? James the Second is coming from 1685. 85 to 88 and this is the bloodless revolution or the glorious revolution that we are able to see and after that there is a joint monarchy so you need to make uh, parallels you need to make sure that you are able to create those uh, important parallels so here make make those comparisons edward the 3rd richard the 2nd and henry the 4th right so e r h e r h 3 2 e r h 3 2 4 edward the 3rd richard the 2nd and henry Henry the fourth. These are the three monarchs. Henry the fourth, बहुत छोटा tenure रहता है, but these are the four monarchs under which, under whom, Geoffrey Chaucer, the father of English poetry, was writing. So please keep that in mind. Remember, Astrolab treatise to Astrolab is also something that is written by Geoffrey Chaucer. Treatise on Astrolab is also written by Geoffrey Chaucer. So the idea is, आपको यहाँ पर Julia Kristeva का intertextuality को याद रखना पड़ेगा. Whenever you are looking at British literature, keep on pushing your mind. Tell your mind. मुझे और क्या-क्या points याद आ रहे हैं. Don't worry, Nita. Nitu, that's perfectly all right. Good afternoon. So please remember that. Very nice. I'm Samita. Novel with the कि रोमन क्लेफ वेरी नाइस वेरी गुड सो यही मैं चाहती हूं कीप ऑन मेकिंग श्योर दैट ऑल ऑफ यू आर बीइंग वेरी अजाइल इन रिव्यूइंग क्योंकि वही चीजें आपके लिए बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट रहेंगी ओके ही वाज अ कोर्टियर ही वाज अ डिप्लोमेट एंड देयरफॉर वी आर एबल टू सी के ही इज नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट पेजेंट्स रिवॉल्ट he is not talking about uh, anything that is against the government because he cannot say that his position is not really allowing him to say anything against the government that is what you are able to see unlike the contemporaries like john gower and others right so that is another pointer that you are able to look at okay here comes another interesting uh, you know another interesting point on british literature women writings aapke liye bahut zyada important ho gayi hain remember delivery manley or or when we are talking about afra ben and elisa haywood what are they called they are called the fair triumvirate of wit and women writings as it is have become very important now आपका एक पूरा का पूरा आपका एक पूरा का पूरा यू नो कोर्स बनने लग गया है विच यू हैव टू बी माइंडफुल ऑफ सो व्हाट आर वी एबल टू सी वी आर एबल टू सी दैट द बुक ऑफ मार्चरी कैंप द बुक ऑफ मार्चरी कैंप ये आपका व्हाट इज दिस दिस इज ट्राइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट दिस इज ट्राइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट दिस रिलीजियस सो कॉल्ड फॉलोअर ऑल टूगेदर कैंप की लाइफ को देखो आपको लाइफ राइटिंग के बारे में भी पता होना चाहिए अब आपका जैसे फॉर इंस्टेंस वेन यू टॉक अबाउट दलित एस्थेटिक्स दलित एस्थेटिक्स में हम लोग क्या बोल रहे हैं दलित एस्थेटिक्स में वी आर ट्राइंग टू टॉक अबाउट देर इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग डिबेट दैट ओनली द वेर आर नो नोज वेद शू पिंच एंड इवन दलित एस्थेटिक्स सेज दैट इट सेज दैट इफ आई एम हैविंग एक्सपीरियंस एक्सपीरियंस इफ आई हैव द अनुभव विल आई बी एबल टू एक्सप्रेस इट Will I be able to express it? And the same thing is happening. Life writing के अंदर आपका devotional literature भी आ रहा है. Life writing के अंदर. Life writing के अंदर क्या आता है? Exploitative literature. जैसे black writings, Dalit aesthetics हो गया. People who have experienced the toil, the uh, the so-called exploitation, वो लोग लिखते हैं. सेकेंडली आपको क्या याद रखना है सेकेंडली यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट हाउ वी आर एबल टू सी दैट वेन वी आर लुकिंग एट दलित राइटिंग्स और ब्लैक राइटिंग्स और और इवन फॉर दैट मैटर डिवोशनल राइटिंग्स देखो लाइक माई एक्सपीरियंस माई एक्सपीरियंस विद गॉड इज समथिंग विच इज वेरी पर्सनल आई एल बी एबल टू टेल यू दैर ओके दिस इज अ मेरिकल दैट आई दैर आई एक्सपीरियंस दिस वॉज अ मेरिकल दैट आई आई वॉज एबल टू सी तो इट इज वेरी पर्सनल लाइफ राइटिंग में इसी तरह की राइटिंग आती है लाइफ राइटिंग के अंदर वी आर एबल टू सी दैट काइंड ऑफ राइटिंग इट सेल्फ सो ह्योर वॉट यू आर एबल टू सी इज दैट दैट हाउ कैम्स लाइफ हर ट्रेवल्स हर एक्सपीरियंसेस ऑफ डिवाइन रेविलियशन ये सब लाइफ राइटिंग के अंदर आ रहा है 
right this is all coming under the title of life writing that you are able to see okay her visions that she is able to look at acha even look at blake for instance blake was also having visions and what was he called he was called sui generis what was he called he was called sui generis of his own kind so you need to make connections and understand women writings life writings thoda sa apne jo khud notes banaye dekho main aapko kyu batati hu ye ye sari cheeze interesting ho jati hain they make your uh, make your curiosity also uh, become a little uh, above what the normal level is so hamesha make sure that you're pushing yourself because the more you push yourself the more curious you are you'll be able to see that you get a grf better right so always make it a point that you are keeping your your eyes and ears open you have that child like curiosity because if you don't have that child like curiosity and agility ye do cheeze bahut zyada important hain you will be able to see that you know you'll always falter to clear this particular exam okay now ye third person ke andar likha gaya hai this question has also come third person remember first person i second person he she so uh, hemant he is attending the class all right or sam sam Amhita is attending. Repeat what, uh, bache? Geki. Repeat what? Repeat what? Ah, uh, mujhe bata dena. I'll repeat that. Don't worry. So this creature, third person, it's written in this, you know, third person to tell you about humility altogether. Okay. So please remember that that Marjorie Kemp, women's writings, women's writings. Ke upar main ek, I'll just quickly, probably in the next time, also cover this up because this is a very interesting and a very important topic. Just ke andar se apko aaj kal questions they are of course asking. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to the next part. Okay. This is also. So important historia regum britannia or the history of kings of britain now yaha par what you have to remember is that uh, joffrey of monmouth was considered to be the first very important historiographer historiographer ओके हिस्टोरियोग्राफर अच्छा आप देखो जैसे सिडनी है सर फिलिप सिडनी डिफेंस ऑफ पोइसी या पॉलिजी ऑफ पोइसी व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिफेंस ऑफ पोइसी एंड पॉलिजी फॉर पोइसी इफ द पब्लिशर्स आर डिफरेंट आपके क्वेश्चंस नेट में पब्लिशर्स के ऊपर भी आ रहे हैं आजकल यू आर गेटिंग क्वेश्चन ऑन पब्लिशर्स ऑल्सो ऑलनी एंड पॉन्सॉनबे राइट ऑलनी इज वन पब्लिशर एंड पॉन्सॉनबे इज एन अदर पब्लिशर तो यू आर गेटिंग क्वेश्चन ऑन पब्लिशर इज वेल so here you are able to see that even though dryden is considered to be the first royal historiographer right it's basically like a content writer aap logo ko pata hai ek career option jahan par uh, english literature students are doing very well to these days is called ghost writing you know what is ghost writing you know what do we mean by ghost writing ghost writing for instance if you are uh, you know um, i don't know how many of you know about these organizations like zeroda okay zeroda is by nikhil and nitin kamath it is a startup which has changed the way we are all trading okay now zeroda ke andar if nitin kamath or nikhil kamath are writing something on their linkedin profile it is not ki unhone likha hoga it is also that they have hired somebody else to write for them so a lot of agencies now are also doing ghost writing ghost writing is aap eminent logo ke liye content writer ban rahe ho right so uh, you you should be aware about it because aajkal aapka ek do questions na about uh, important things yaha ya is tarah ke questions bhi aapke aate hain so you should be aware about it but anyway so coming on to what are you able to see who are the historiographers historiographers are the ghost writers of the past they are the content writers of the kings and monarchs रिमेंबर एनियड क्यों लिख रहा है वर्जल वाइज वर्जल राइटिंग एनियड बिकॉज अगस्टस सीजर वॉन्ट्स टू मेक श्योर दैट पीपल आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट अगस्टस सीजर इज ए राइटफुल एम्पर सो प्लीज कीप दैट इन माइंड डू रिमेंबर ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो जॉफरी ऑफ मॉनमॉथ हो हिस्टोरियोग्राफर ही इज ट्राइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट किंग्स ऑफ ब्रिटेन ऑल टूगेदर ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट अ नेशनल हिस्ट्री ओवर ऑल जॉफरी इज स्टार्टिंग ही टेल्स यू द पर्पज ऑफ राइटिंग ऑल टूगेदर ओके एंड वट डज ही सेज ही सेज अ सर्टन वेरी एंशंट बुक रिटन इन द ब्रिटिश लैंग्वेज फ्रॉम विच ही हैज ट्रांसलेटेड हिज हिस्ट्री ओके सो बी डी वेनरेबल बी डी हैड ऑल्सो रिटन written gildas had also written ye inke sources hain all together and you know uh, please remember dedication hai to robert earl of gloucester waller and count of meluan okay so he he is dedicating as well so historia regum britannia or the history of the kings of britain is also a very important work 
Okay, it's also very important work altogether. Uh, Bappi, uh, Bappi said, you know, Bappi said a very beautiful line. I'll tell you, Bappi said that I failed two times. आपको पता है आजकल सबसे important skill क्या है? आजकल it is not important whether I'm having, uh, whether I'm having IQ or EQ. ठीक है ये जरूरी नहीं है कि मेरे में इंटेलिजेंस है ये भी जरूरी नहीं है कि मेरे पास इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस है ठीक है वॉट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन टूडेज टाइम इज ए क्यू वॉट इज ए क्यू एडवर्सिटी क्वेश्चन कि मैं कितनी बार गिर के फिर से आई एम राइजिंग कितनी बार गिर के आई एम स्टिल एबल टू राइज कितनी ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम्स है मेरी लाइफ में स्टिल आई एम एबल टू राइज कितनी बार फेलियर मैंने देखा है स्टिल आई एम एबल टू बाउंस बैक These days, that is very, very critical. Please remember that. So, Bappi, even after failing two times, if you are still here, that means somewhere there is a desire that you do want to clear the exam, and you will be able to clear it. Okay. So, please keep that in mind. That if you are having adversity quotient in you, which is very high, no matter how many times you fail, but you do get up. Always remember. Remember the old man and the sea. The old man and the sea. always talks about it so ernest hemingway's old man and the sea because of which he also received the nobel prize is also teaching you the same thing so keep that uh, in mind because a lot of times we go wrong with these uh, kind of things uh, overall always remember that okay the dialogue the dialogue lawrence dharman La lawrence dharman so uh, lawrence of dharham lawrence of dharham's dialogue what is it yahan par aapke dialogues hain in four books all together and dialogues kya kya hain dialogues tell you about lawrence about philip uh, about one monk of dharham and there is a briton called peter there is a there is a briton called peter also over there so what are we able to see we are in a position to look at that how dialogue lawrence of durham's dialogue lawrence of durham's dialogue is having these four important there there are so you can remember a first of all four important people four books that are there okay to ye cheeze aapne thodi si dhyan mein rakhni hai inke jo pehli do books hain the first two books what are you able to see you are able to see that lawrence and philip all right lawrence and philip are in exile all right he is trying to tell you acha exile ke andar again make connections make connections who is the writer australian writer who hasn't received the booker but has been shortlisted properly so remembering babylon by david maloof david maloof has written an imaginary life which tells you about ovid in exile which is telling you about ovid in exile remember david maloof's an imaginary life an imaginary life david maloof is a very important australian writer in australia we are able to see that peter carey is the recipient of the booker prize twice for true history of kelly gang and oscar and lucinda so you'll have to make these connections imaginary life may be you are able to see that ovid is in exile so here peter and uh, so your lawrence and philip are in exile they are in exile lawrence is telling you about how he is yearning for the good times of bishop geoffrey's era he is being nostalgic he is being <coughs> sorry being nostalgic and what are you able to see he is very critical of cumin and the behavior of the cumin and his soldiers so you are comparing you are comparing see very political अगेन वेरी वेरी पोलिटिकल लिटरेचर तो आप आप अग, अपने रिसर्च पेपर्स के अंदर भी काफी सारे बच्चे पूछते हैं किस चीज पे रिसर्च करें अगर ओल्ड इंग्लिश लिटरेचर है एज इट प्रॉप इज इट एक्चुअली न्यू इफ इट वॉज न्यू देन डायलॉजी विच वी आर एबल टू सी लॉरेंस ऑफ दरहम यू आर एबल टू सी देर इज क्रिटिसिज्म और इवन इन क्लासिकल लिटरेचर कॉरेंथ को कितने सारे लोग क्रिटिसाइज करते हैं सो यू आर एबल टू सी के पोलिटिकल लिटरेचर इज ऑलवेज बिन देर or when you are looking at nicolo machiavelli is the prince literature has always been very politically triggered and uh, no literature emerges in a vacuum all together that is what you are able to look at okay so please keep that in mind uh <coughs> दीक्षा बच्चे अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन एक मिनट जस्ट राइट डाउन ओके येस्टडे ऑनवर्ड स्नेहा आई डोंट नो इफ शी जेर आल बी रिप्लाइंग टू हर ई मेल नाउ आर ग्रेड अप आई डीज आर नो मोर वर्किंग नाउ द आई डी विच इज वर्किंग इज नीरचा डॉट रहेजा द रेट बाई चूज डॉट कॉम प्लीज मेक अ नोट ऑफ इट आई मेक यू राइट इट डाउन आपका दीक्षा वट एवर सपोर्ट यू रिक्वायर फॉर एम पी सेट यू कैन गिव मी द सिलेबस और एनी अदर सपोर्ट दैट यू रिक्वायर एनी पेपर्स दैट यू वॉन्ट अस टू कवर वी कैन टेक एक्स्ट्रा सेशन एंड कवर इट ठीक है तो Uh, just uh, make sure that uh, 
you mail it to me and we'll of course help you out. So uh, here you are able to see that how there is a criticism uh, of of the two rules there is a criticism of the two rules that is coming in your agitation propaganda literature is also coming in so please make sure that all of you are aware about that okay uh, and i'll also tell you the email id the email id now is neerja okay n w -E r j a dot raheja i'll probably start writing it also at the rate by jews dot com the grade up id is no more working it is no more existing so please make a note of this this is the mail id okay so please remember that all right now philip sydney's astrophil and stella there was sonnet sequence trend trend aa gaya tha aapke sonnet sequence use karne ka poetry is very very important abhi to of course your exam is coming in but otherwise if anybody who's preparing for the next attempt please make sure that you make structured notes on poetry as well okay please make sure that you are uh, trying to make structured notes for poetry as well uh suma there is nothing to understand there are periods there are works of writers all the works of writers are associated with some movement or the other uh, the writer how how the characters are populated what kind of genre is it coming in jitna aap usko complicate karoge utna hi zyada complicated lagega theek hai the samajhne ki koi baat nahi agar aapko ek picture samajh mein aati hai aapko literature samajh mein aayega because literature is a web of stories you need to understand that it is a beautiful retelling of experiences तो अगर आपको ये चीज नहीं समझ में आ रही है तो आई थिंक यू नो यू यू नीड टू गो एंड डू योर बैचलर्स अगेन और डू योर मास्टर्स अगेन बिकॉज इट इज वेरी वेरी सिंपल लिटरेचर इज द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल सब्जेक्ट दैट यू कैन एवर आस्क फॉर एंड व्हाट बेटर दैट यू नो वी नीड टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द जे आर एफ और नेट एग्जाम इन द फील्ड ऑफ लिटरेचर सो प्लीज कीप दैट इन माइंड ओके सो वट आर वी एबल टू सी इसके अंदर हंड्रेड एंड एट सोनेट्स हैं एंड इलेवन सॉन्ग्स आते हैं सो एस्ट्रोफिर एंड स्टेला इज टेलिंग यू अबाउट अन Unrequited love, unrequited love was there in the courtly love tradition. आपको याद है कल हम लोगों ने क्या कहा था कल हम लोगों ने क्लासरूम प्रोग्राम में कहा था दैर एफ्रा बेन्स लव लेटर्स ऑफ लाइक यू नो लव लेटर्स रिटन बाय नोबल मैन टू सिस्टर इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल फिक्शन इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एपिस्टोलरी नॉवल इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एमेटरी फिक्शन याद है आपको क्लासरूम प्रोग्राम में हम लोगों ने कहा था एमेटरी फिक्शन एमेटरी फिक्शन एमेटरी फिक्शन क्या है जो आपको लव के बारे में बता रहा है उसी के अंदर आपका कोटली लव ट्रेडिशन भी आता है कोटली लव ट्रेडिशन थोड़ा सा एलिवेटेड लव बता रहा है नॉट रियलिस्टिक लव बट एलिवेटेड लव बता रहा है एंड प्लीज रिमेंबर ह्योर दैट सर फिलिप सिडनी इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी अ सिल्वर पोएट सिल्वर पोएट का क्या मतलब होता है ही वॉज बॉर्न विद अ सिल्वर स्पून ही वॉज अ रिच एरिस्टोक्रेटिक कोटियोर Okay, he was not writing for the sake of money, but he was, uh, you know, he was a courtier overall. So he's famously called as a silver poet as well, and he's also called a perfect Renaissance man because at the Battle of Zutphen, what are we able to see? We're able to see that he gives he gives water to his uh, to his enemy who's dying. He says, "Thy thy need is more than mine, so take the water." Uh, that is what we're able to see. He also supports literature in defense of poesy, or or famously called as apology for poesy. So Sydney, what are we able to see? ये जो इटालियन पेट्राकन ट्रेडिशन ऑफ राइटिंग सोनेट है पेट्राक इज ऑल्सो द पर्सन द टॉर्च बेर ऑफ रेनेसांस दैट यू आर एबल टू सी ही स्टार्टिंग विद दैट प्लीज कीप दैट इन माइंड एंड यू नो द सॉन्ग्स दैट आर कमिंग द सॉन्ग्स दैट आर कमिंग सो ही वॉज एक्चुअली इन लव विद लेडी पेनलोपी डेवरी और पेनलोप रिच एज शी बिकेम एंड ऑफकोर्स द लव वॉज नॉट फुलफिल्ड सो अगेन यू आर एबल टू सी दैट यू नो ही इज टेकिंग अ पर्सनल एग्जाम्पल इज वेल ओवर ह्योर ओके सो सर फिलिप सिनीज वर्क दिस बिकम्स इंपॉर्टेंट ओके Now, very important. आपका एक क्वेश्चन सेवनटीन सेंचुरी पोइट्री से आता ही आता है उल्टा कई बार आपके एग्जाम में देखा गया है कि एक से तीन क्वेश्चन आपके सेवनटीन सेंचुरी पोइट्री में आ गए अब आपका सेवनटीन सेंचुरी पोइट्री में कौन कौन इंक्लूडेड है सेवनटीन सेंचुरी पोइट्री में आपका बेन जॉनसन इंक्लूडेड है सेवनटीन सेंचुरी पोइट्री के अंदर आपके स्पेंसेरियंस इंक्लूडेड हैं गाइल्स फ्लैचर फीनियस फ्लैचर ठीक है 
इसके अंदर आपके मेटाफिजिकल पोएट्स इंक्लूडेड हैं यू आर ऑल्सो इंक्लूडिंग मेटाफिजिकल पोएट्स इन इट इसके अंदर आपका एज ऑफ मिल्टन जॉन मिल्टन इंक्लूडेड है इसके अंदर आपका ड्राइडन द सटायर राइटर या वर्सेज ऑफ जॉनथन स्विफ्ट ऑल्सो थोड़ा बहुत स्विफ्ट बाई दी एंड स्टार्टिंग टू राइट अगर आपको स्विफ्ट नहीं भी कंसिडर करना है बट ड्राइडन इज डेफिनेटली गोन बी देर सो वॉट आर यू एबल टू सी और एबल टू सी दैट ऑल ऑफ दीज ऑल ऑफ दीज आर अ पार्ट ऑफ सेवनटीन सेंचुरी राइटिंग सो सेवनटीन सेंचुरी राइटिंग पोइट्री से आपके कम से कम एक से तीन क्वेश्चन आते हैं कभी कभी पांच क्वेश्चन भी आए हुए हैं लास्ट टू लास्ट पेपर में मिल्टन के ऊपर दो क्वेश्चन थे सो प्लीज टेक दिस वेरी वेरी सीरियसली इसके ऊपर अपने स्ट्रक्चर्ड नोट्स डेफिनेटली बनाइए बिकॉज इफ यू वॉन्ट मेक योर स्ट्रक्चर्ड नोट्स थिंग्स विल बिकम वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट ओके नाउ टू द वर्जन्स टू मेक मच ऑफ टाइम दिस इज अ वर्क रिटन बाय रॉबर्ट हेरिक विच इज टेलिंग यू अबाउट कार्पिडियम कार्पिडियम सीज द डे ओके सो वॉट आर वी एबल टू सी वी आर एबल टू सी दैट देर इज दिस ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम द कोटली लव ट्रेडिशन वेर द बिलाविड वॉज एलिवेटेड ह्योर यू आर एबल टू लुक एट द बिलाविड यूर ऑल्सो एक्सेप्टिंग द बॉडली प्लेजर्स यूर ऑल्सो मोर एक्सेप्टिंग ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट यू नो लव मेकिंग प्रोसेस सो पीपल आर बिकमिंग मोर ओपन इन एक्सप्रेसिंग दैट डिजायर्स सो टू द वर्जन्स टू मेक मच ऑफ टाइम बाई रॉबर्ट हेरिक बिकम्स एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कपिडियम और राइट तो ये आपका कार्पिडियम थीम के ऊपर है कापिडियम ट्रेडिशन के ऊपर है एंड दैट इज वॉट द इमेजरी इज ऑल्सो दैट यू नो शुड नॉट रियली वेस्ट टाइम एंड सीज द डे ओवरऑल ओके सो प्लीज कीप दैट इन माइंड और राइट सिमिलरली वॉट आर वी एबल टू सी वी आर एबल टू सी जॉन ड्राइडन राइटिंग जॉन ड्राइडन का एवरी थिंग यू नो द प्लेस दैट ही इज राइटिंग द काइंड ऑफ क्रिटिसिजम दैट ही इज रिटर्न एज वेल एज दटायर्स दैट ही इज राइटिंग मिकफ्लेक्नो एंड और एप्सुलम एंड एक्टोफिल यू डू गेट क्वेश्चन ऑन ऑल ऑफ दैम ड्राइडन का एप्सुलम एंड एक्टोफिल एक बिब्लिकल स्टोरी पे बेस्ड है जिसमें क्या होता है किंग डेविड किंग डेविड का जो बच्चा है right his favorite son absalom so his favorite son absalom absalom is the son that he is having he is going against king david why because he has been instigated by achitophel who is achitophel achitophel is a whig leader earl of shaftesbury anthony ashley cooper earl of shaftesbury <coughs> yes deepak andrew marvel is also using absolutely right andrew marvel is also using capedium very good deepak horace also talked about carpedian theme very nice okay so what remember poesa poeta poema those are the three parts of epistle to peace sauce that's ars poetica very good very good deepak ha huh? nice nice good i hope classroom students you remember when we were doing uh, greek or roman criticism this week this is what we were talking about okay so what are we able to see we are able to see that there is this entire uh, debate that is going on that who will be the next successor of charles the second because charles the second does not have any legitimate heir and that is the reason there are these discussions that are going on of course uh, you know uh, he is a secret catholic and on his deathbed he converts into catholicism and that is when his brother uh, james the second is becoming the monarch but james the second only rules for 3 years from 1685 to 1688 and he is overthrown in the bloodless revolution so absalom and achitophel ekdam topical hai agar aapko time pata hai so this also this also becomes an example of roman a cliff ये भी एक एग्जाम्पल हो जाता है रोमन अक्लेफ या हिस्टोरिकल राइटिंग ओके रेस्टोरेशन पीरियड में मोस्ट ऑफ द राइटिंग्स आर हिस्टोरिकल ओनली राइट मोस्ट ऑफ द राइटिंग्स आर हिस्टोरिकल ओनली ऑल्सो रिमेंबर जॉन ड्राइडन इज राइटिंग द हाइंड एंड द पैंथर द हाइंड एंड द पैंथर इज एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट हाउ देर वॉज अ डिबेट बिटवीन कैथलिक्स एंड प्रोटेस्टेंट्स प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट आपका जैसे फॉर इंस्टेंस गॉर्डन रायट्स गॉर्डन रायट्स कहां पर आ रहा है गॉर्डन रायट्स इवन डिकिंस इज टॉकिंग अबाउट इन बारनबे राज गॉर्डन रायट्स व रायट्स बिकॉज पीपल डिड नॉट वॉन्टेड दैट द कैथलिक्स शुड गेट बैक द पावर बिकॉज कैथलिक्स को ना एकदम ही ऑस्ट्रोसाइज कर दिया गया था दैट वॉज वन ऑफ द मेजर रीजन वाई एलेक्सेंडर पोप वॉज नॉट एबल टू गेट बेनिफिट सो यहां पर यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द इंटायर रिलीजियस फाइट्स ऑल्सो दैट आर टेकिंग प्लेस वट आर वी एबल टू सी वी आर एबल टू सी दैट वेन वी स्टार्ट 
we are able to look at how uh, Roman Catholicism was there. It was strict and therefore, you know, the Church of England came in or the Anglican Church came in, Protestantism, Puritanism, uh, Quakerism, Methodism. So all your isms that are coming in religion or in sab ke baare mein and other books. So when we are looking at Jonathan Swift's, right? Uh, so so again, all the writings, when, when we talk about Swift's writings, uh, be it a tale of tab or, or, you know, Swift is trying to make, Swift is trying to make all of these religious debates very clear in his writings as well. In his writings as well, he's trying to make these things very, very clear. So, um, of course, he's trying to tell you about how uh, his conversion was there. He's trying to tell you that, you know, Catholics are the, uh, you know, the hind, uh, so to say, uh, 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 sorry, the panther. So, what are you able to say? The hind and the panther is trying to tell you about how uh, there there is this uh, innocence as well as a little devilish character which is coming in and he's trying to justify Catholicism. Remember, Oxford movement also in the Victorian age is trying to do the same thing. Get back Catholicism in a particular way. Even Graham Greene later in the 20th century, wo bhi religion ke upar hi is trying to talk about. Okay, never ever forget your 20th century as well as 17th century. So, ye 17th century and 20th century poetry aapke liye bohat zyada important hai. Why so pale and vain? Why so pale and vain? Ye jo hai, this is a song that is written in a play that Suckling debuted. He debuted uh, in a play and this was published as Aglora. Uh, so, you know, Suckling के ड्रामेटिक वर्क्स भी हैं सकलिंग के ना ड्रामेटिक वर्क्स भी हैं और नॉन ड्रामेटिक वर्क्स भी हैं और उसके अंदर एक सॉन्ग आ रहा है वाई सो पेल एंड वेन सो व्हाट आर यू एबल टू सी दैट हाउ यू नो दिस दिस एंटायर वर्क इज एक्चुअली रिटन हेस्पिरिड्स हेस्पिरिड्स दिस इज बेसिकली एन एंटायर वर्क दैट रॉबर्ट हेरिक इज रिटन इज राइटिंग एंड कैविलियर्स कौन थे कैविलियर्स वर द सपोर्टर्स ऑफ रॉयलिटी कैविलियर्स वर द सपोर्टर ऑफ रॉयलिटी दे वर सपोर्टिंग द monarchs they were supporting the monarchs altogether so again 17th century writings they become very important very good anil very nice point that how the hind and the panther ridiculed by matthew prior very good in the city mouse and the country mouse uh, so you will have to this is exactly what you have to remember okay rani uh, jaldi se we are looking at 50 pointers theek hai jaldi se we are looking at 50 pointers to Althea from Prison, to Althea from Prison, a beautiful work written by Richard Lovelace that is coming in. A Rupture is written by Cario. A Rupture is written by Cario. So, what can you do? You can actually take a sheet of paper and make a web chart. So, you have Cavalier poets, Spenserian poets, Metaphysical poets. First of all, you have to know the category. Who is in it? Who is included? Who is their works? Who is in it? You can see if they have contributed in which way they have done. How can you go further? You can't go further at all. So, please remember that and keep on reviewing all of those writings, okay? Okay, Rape of the Lock again, a mock epic or a mock heroic work altogether by Alexander Pope. It is trying to tell you about the uh, vanities of the high society. Uh, aapka or ek writing, jo aristocrats ke baare mein hai, that is called Silver Folk Novels. Silver Folk Novels, aapki kaun si novels hai? Silver Folk Novels are 19th century novels, just mein Edward Buller Lighten a jate hai. Edward Bulwer Lighten a jate hai. Why is he coming in? He is coming in. Bulwer Lighten is coming in. Why? Because he is writing about silver folk tradition. Then you have Chiclet. Chiclet. What is Chiclet? Chiclet is all about. Yesterday I was meeting this panel um, which is headed by uh, a lot of people and even Barkhatat was there. So they were just discussing about the changing. You know, earlier it was unthinkable for you to imagine that, you know, a woman uh, in her late 20s or 30s or 40s is going to be single. But now because women are earning, they don't really mean a man. They don't really need a man to support them. So, Chiclet is actually trying to tell you about independent, strong women, but still trying to search for a partner or having a desire to have a partner. Uh, the flip side of uh, feminism altogether. So, Chiclet ho gaya, silver folk tradition ho gaya. Uh, remember, feminism ka ek matra critique kya hai? Feminism ka ek matra critique hai that it is all telling you about white upper class women. It's not all inclusive. Uh, it's trying to so um, so when we look at when we look at Edna Pontillier, Edna Pontillier is a character in Kate Chopin's The Awakening. So Edna Pontillier was able to think that her life was meaningless and she was getting overpowered by her husband because she had the quadrinomus to take care of her children. If the quadrinomus was not there, she 
she would have been occupied in a household chores or she would have thought about you know how to earn her daily bread butter cheese she wouldn't have thought about independence altogether so that is also there uh, so here we are able to see that you know rape of the lock it's based on the original uh, story altogether belinda is there belinda belinda challenges the baron to play this game of ombre uh, ombre is a card game that was played by wealthy people altogether and how eventually and just because the stealing of a lock le leads to uh, you know a calamity overall uh, um, and and uh, you know yesterday when when i was having this thing we we had one of the girls who was trying to quit her job why was she wanting to quit her job for very trivial reasons which we also call it as first world problems so you know the aristocratic life the triviality wahin pe wahin pe look at anton chekhov the russian writer anton chekhov writes about in the cherry orchard the breakdown of aristocratic order तो एरिस्टोक्रेटिक ऑर्डर एरिस्टोक्रेसी को भी वी आर एबल टू सी दैट देर आर मल्टीपल पीपल हुर ट्राइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट दैट ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट ऑल्सो ओके द डिजर्टेड विलेज बाय ट्रांजिशनल पोइट ऑलिवर गोल्ड स्मिथ राइट वॉट इज इट इट इज ट्राइंग टू टेल यू दैट ऑल ग्लोरी लीड्स बट टू डेथ इट इज ट्राइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट इनक्लोजर्स इनक्लोजर्स क्या थे दे वर एक्स टू ब्यूटिफाई एंड यू नो मेक श्योर कि आप कमर्शलाइज कर रहे हैं सो द डिजर्टेड विलेज विच वॉज पब्लिश इन सेवनटीन सेवेंटी इट वॉज अ सोशल क्रिटिक ये ऑलिवर गोड स्मिथ कैसे आ जाते हैं ही इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड अ ट्रांजिशनल पोएट ट्रांजिशनल पोएट्री के ऊपर भी आपका क्वेश्चन आता है ट्रांजिशनल पोएट्स कौन कौन है मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट डॉक्टर सैम्यूल जॉनसन ऑलिवर गोल्ड स्मिथ थॉमस ग्रे थॉमस ग्रे ग्रे गोल्ड स्मिथ जॉनसन एज वेल एज योर अर्ली रोमांटिक्स अर्ली रोमांटिक्स जैसे थॉमसन हो गया इवन ब्लेक कभी कभी तो ये 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 आपको पोएट्स भी करने पड़ेंगे बिकॉज इस पर भी आपके एक से दो क्वेश्चन एक से दो क्वेश्चन आपके इनसे भी आते हैं जॉनसन डॉक्टर सैम्यूल जॉनसन थॉमस ग्रे ऑलिवर गोल्ड स्मिथ अर्ली आपके रोमांटिक राइटर्स इनको ट्रांजिशनल पोएट्स कहते हैं ये वो पोएट्स हैं जो आपको ऑगस्टन पोएट्री से रोमांटिक पोएट्री पे लेके जा रहे हैं राइट दीज आर दोज पोएट्स और टेकिंग यू फ्रॉम ऑगस्टन पोएट्री टू रोमांटिक पोएट्री सो वट आर यू एबल टू सी यू आर एबल टू सी दैट हाउ दीज पोएट्स आर ऑल्सो क्रिटिकल और एक से दो क्वेश्चन आपको नेट एग्जाम में हमेशा इस इन पर भी दिखेंगे तो दैट इज वट आई वर सेंग एट द बिगिनिंग ऑल्सो के यू नो इट इज अ ब्यूटिफुल वे uh, ये आपके लॉन्ग टर्म इन्वेस्टमेंट है बिकॉज योर लिटरेचर स्टूडेंट्स ब्रिटिश लिटरेचर आपका कहीं नहीं जाएगा नो मैटर हाउ मच वी क्रिटिक नो मैटर हाउ मच वी टॉक अबाउट पोस्ट कलोनियलिज्म और आजकल तो इन द चैट जी पी टी सैरा एवरीबडी इज सेंग देखो अंडरस्टैंड दिस ए आई ए आई कैन कैन रिप्लेस वी आर वी शुडेंट बी कॉकी वी शुडेंट बी एरोगन बट बट यू नो ए आई कैन रिप्लेस योर योर सी एज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दे कैन दे कैन रिप्लेस एवरी थिंग विच इज लाइक यू नो योर डेटा एनालिटिक्स पीपल अदर पीपल हु आर देयर बट ए आई कैन नॉट not really so far immediately replace the softer human skills or or you know liberal arts overall and that is the reason so many uh, you know so many co colleges schools graduate schools uh, world class top schools they have accepted leadership and uh, liberal arts as well which is so important so just make sure that you know you are paying a lot of attention making your british literature notes it's a one time investment to cover british literature overall ya aapka ek you know it becomes really very important so make it with with utmost Sincerity, with utmost hard work, एक basic तो आपने हमेशा एक बार बनाना चाहिए And if you clear net exam without that, it's it's okay, but uh, it, you haven't really earned it then. So you should actually do it. Okay, so what are we able to see? It opens with a description of this village called Oborn, and deserted village is trying to tell you about enclosures. Enclosures क्या थे? देखो आपको जब dams भी construct करने थे, so नेहरू सेड नेहरूज नोशन ऑफ डेवलपमेंट जवाहरलाल नेहरूज नोशन ऑफ डेवलपमेंट वॉज दैट इन स्टेड ऑफ बिल्डिंग टेम्पल्स यू नीड टू बिल्ड डैम्स दैट वॉज हिज नोशन ऑफ डेवलपमेंट सो वट आर वी एबल टू सी दैट इन द परस्यूट ऑफ ऑफ डेवलपमेंट यहाँ पर क्या एक प्रॉब्लम आ रही थी यहाँ पर जो प्रॉब्लम आ रही थी दैट वॉज वेरी सिंपल के यू हैव टू डी पॉप्यूलेट पीपल और राइट right. um, आपका यहाँ पर यू नो इको क्रिटिसिज्म के अंदर भी यू स्टडी और लॉट ऑफ दीज मूवमेंट्स आल्सो दैट आर कमिंग इन सो अगेन दैट इज व्हाट इज बीइंग सेड ही इज कॉल्ड अ पॉलिटिकल रेडिकल अच्छा इसी से एसोसिएटेड एक और कॉन्सेप्ट है हमारे कुछ राइटर्स को रेनीगेट कहते हैं हु आर रेनीगेड रेनीगेड आर राइटर्स लाइक हाउथॉन रेनीगेट का क्या मतलब होता है पीपल हु गो अगेंस्ट देयर ओन पार्टी पीपल हु गो अगेंस्ट देयर ओन कम्युनिटी सो बेसिकली 
रेनिगेड ये आपके रेनिगेड हो जाते हैं सो वट आर वी एबल टू सी वी आर एबल टू सी हाउ थॉन इज अ प्यूरिटन बट ही क्रिटिसाइज प्यूरिटन ओनली ही इज अ प्यूरिटन बट ही क्रिटिसाइज प्यूरिटन ओनली सो दैट इज वॉट वी आर एबल टू सी ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट ओके Moving on now to the next pointer, the garden. The garden is having these beautiful lines. How vainly, how vainly men themselves amaze to win the palm, the oak, or the bays, right? It's trying to tell you that a life which is contemplative is always going to be better than a life of action. Than a life of action. देखो हम कितना हसल करते रहते हैं, हम कितना ज़्यादा चलते रहते हैं. Of course हम सीखते हैं, लेकिन जब तक हम pause नहीं करेंगे, we'll not be able to figure out कि हमने सीखा क्या है. so it is very important it is very important that we actually take some time and andrew marvel ka the garden andrew marvel ka the garden बाई द वे पोइट्री पढ़ने के लिए ना एक ब्यूटिफुल रिसोर्स जो आप सबके पास अवेलेबल है और आई थिंक हम लोगों ने अपने लेक्चर्स के थ्रू उनको काफ़ी एग्जॉस्टिवली कवर भी किया है इस योर एम ई जी एम ई जी ब्रिटिश पोइट्री करके आपका जो है ना वो आपका एक बहुत ही अच्छा रिसोर्स है उसको भी अगर आपके पास टाइम होगा तो गो थ्रू कीजिएगा सो इसमें ना बुकलेट फाइव है बुकलेट फाइव इज़ ऑन मेटाफिजिकल पोइट्री और फोर फाइव फाइव इज ऑन मेटाफिजिकल पोइट्री जिसमें सब ब्यूटिफुली दे रखा है तो उसको भी आप अच्छे से ना कवर कर लीजिएगा एक बार so the garden by andrew marvel it is a very important work and the real objective of andrew marvel wo kya batana cha rahe the wo aapko kehna cha rahe the ki contemplative life is better than life of action बिकॉज और आप सही कंटेम्पलेशन कहाँ कर सकते हैं यू कैन डू इट इन अ ट्री सो दीज आर ऑल प्री कर्सर्स टू द रोमांटिक एज दैट यू आर एबल टू सी दीज आर ऑल प्री कर्सर्स दैट यूल गेट कम्फर्ट इन द इन द लैप ऑफ नेचर रिमेंबर मैं बार बार बोलती हूँ दैट वर्ड्स वर्थ इज नॉट सेइंग नेचर कैन ओनली गेट हारमनी बट रिकलेक्शन ऑफ नेचर कैन ऑल्सो गेट हारमनी ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट ओके All right, moving on to the next pointer that we have for all of you. This is also important. Easter Wings by George Herbert. By George Herbert. This is a, a work that was coming in the Temple, which was posthumously published altogether. And what are you able to see that this is basically trying to tell you about the atonement of Jesus Christ, right? This is a work that is dealing with the atonement of Jesus Christ altogether. sorry right which is discussing about the atonement of uh, jesus christ over here so yahan par what you need to basically focus on is that again your 17th century writers how they are trying to talk about either devotional themes so metaphysical poets ho gaye 17th century writers ho gaye their devotional themes are coming in as well as there are a lot of amatory writings also amatory writings as well as devotional writings this is what they are actually trying to talk about uh, yahan par dekhiye first stanza the line oh let me rise oh let me rise right so and there is a very colloquial bond with god that is being uh, associated over here that is another thing that you are able to look at okay this is again interesting uh, this is byron's work that is beppo which is trying to tell you that there was a wife whose husband husband is lost at sea and she takes a lover when the husband is not there ओके एंड वॉट आर यू एबल टू सी यू आर एबल टू सी दैट हाउ यू नो इट इज रिटन इन अ वेरी क्लोकल एंड फॉर्मल वर्क दिस वर्क इज बेपो दिस वर्क इज बेपो यहाँ पर लॉरा जो है यहाँ पर लॉरा जो है उसका हजबेंड ग्यूस पी ही इज लॉस्ट एट सी Who else is lost? Who else is lost? Was remember Patrick White, the first African to get the Nobel Prize. What are we able to see? Patrick White के अंदर भी was में what are you able to see that the the people who have gone for an ex expedition are lost. So they are presumed lost at sea. And what are you able to see? We are able to see that she takes a lover count. She takes a lover count in her absence. राइट सो वॉट आर वी एबल टू लुक एट दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्क तो आपको थीम दे जाती है एंड इट वॉज रिटर्न इन इटालियन ओटावा राइमा फॉर्मैट ओटावा राइमा फॉर्मैट हम लोगों ने आई थिंक लास्ट टू लास्ट वीक क्लास रूम क्लास में जब रेटरिक एंड प्रोसिडी पढ़ा था वी हैड टॉक्ट अबाउट ऑल स्टैंडा फॉर्मैट from otava rima to tosa rima to looking at rhyme royal to looking at all the other meters which are constantly coming in very good shabnam cx is also lost at sea very good i am so glad you are making connections because if you are making these connections you are already on the right path okay you are already on the right path so uh, this is also a very interesting positive note to actually you know uh, continue okay john litkid 
<coughs> John Lidgett, his Siege of Thebes. Siege of Thebes is coming with a prologue which is for 176 lines in which what are we able to see? He imagines himself that he is also Chaucer's pilgrims of the Canterbury Tales and he speaks with the host Harry Belly and agrees to tell the first tale, Homeward Journey and the story that Lidgett tells is, uh, you know, as uh, when, when the pilgrims will depart altogether. So, what are we able to see? That the pilgrims told, uh, like, you know, the, the story that he's planning to tell will be a companion to the Knight's Tale. Will be a companion to the Knight's Tale. So, Siege of Thebes by John Lidgate. This is a poem where we are able to see that he is trying to make a comparison. He is trying to make a parallel that this is going to be a companion to the Knight's Tale sto uh, story overall. Ye question bhi aapka <coughs> so sorry. ये क्वेश्चन भी आपका काफी बार पूछा जाता है सो प्लीज बी अवेयर अबाउट इट देयर अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स दीस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आर आल्सो बीइंग आस्ड ओवर हियर वन सेकंड Right. So, these kind of questions are also uh, often asked over here, ki kis tarah se these people are making those comparisons with Chaucerians. Uh, so, aapko, dekho, again, uh, starting with the question that was asked that, you know, can we miss out Anglo-Saxons? Like I said earlier, we used to tell people that, okay, you know, you can start from Romantic Age, but now there is an equal weightage given to other parts as well. So, it is better if you study it like a story and it won't take you a lot of effort. Okay, beautiful lines. God himself is the best poet and the real is his song, Elizabeth Barrett Browning, who could have become the poet laureate, and she is writing this particular line, right? So, Orar Lay, Orar Lay is, of course, a very important work that has been written, and these beautiful lines, God Himself is the best poet, and the real is a song. Victorian poetry, वैसे भी आपके लिए बहुत ज़्यादा important है. Victorian novels, uh, so again, Victorian novels, 19th century novels, loose baggy monsters, Victorian poetry, poetry के अंदर we are able to see writers like Hopkins also coming in. Jaise abhi ek, ek, ek pointer mene Polter's meet, uh, measure pe kara hai. Polter's measure jo Wyatt bhi achche se kar rahe hai aur Gascoigne bhi kar rahe hai. Gascoigne hum logo ne last to last YouTube lecture pe hi discuss kiya tha. But Hopkins ka sprung rhythm ya Hopkins ka uh, Curtis sonnet those also become important. So you need to make sure that you know that, that your understanding clarity is definitely there. Okay. Again you and your words your listeners see written on your face the poems they hear like letters carved in trees bark the sight and sounds of solitudes endured now again uh, you know again what are we able to see that how uh, you know Stephen Spender okay Stephen Spender on the death of a very important patriarch of 20th century poetry that is W.H. Auden is writing these okay so what are we able to see we are able to see that the poem Auden's funeral Auden's funeral Auden's funeral this is what is the work you and your words your listeners see your words on your face the poems they hear you are able to awaken all the senses so to say that is what he is trying to tell us okay so Auden the Anglo-American poet altogether and Stephen Spender Stephen Spender is Oxford poet remember Oxford poet or the poet of 1930s also called the Pylon poets also called the pink poet so to say they were also called left wing poets altogether so what are we able to see we are able to see that Stephen Spender Stephen Spender is given multiple titles like these right these are the names these are the names that are given to Stephen Spender and his writings overall one second
okay so please keep that in mind that how we are able to see how we are able to look at that uh, whenever we are talking about important celebrities and important key figures stalwarts so to say like these in ke kis tarah se they are writing okay after a reading of maxim by by la roche fold what are you able to see that jonathan swift had got the idea he was reading a maxim by ra roche fold and swift had actually therefore written verses on the death of uh, dr john uh, dr swift so what are you able to see important a kuch uh, ya to wo writers like Paul, uh, polter's measures used by wyatt or hopkins is using the sprung rhythm or curtil sonnet or or similarly what prompted a particular writer to write a particular work ye sari cheeze bahut important ho jati hai they are instrumental uh, so please keep that in mind what was the maxim in the hard times of our best friends we find something that doesn't displease us that doesn't displease us so this was a maxim which was told Uh, because of which you know uh, swift was uh, made to write verses on the death of dr swift who is jonathan swift jonathan swift is a misanthrope misanthrope hater of mankind we are able to see he was a believe a disbeliever of mankind he is also a person who is associated with augustan literature augustan literature do important log jo hain who are contributing to the development are swift and alexander pope both of them are important therefore multiple books say that it's the age of swift to the age of alexander pope that you're able to see yes anil it's also called max ponde group of poets very nice very nice okay right so uh, here please keep that in mind because is tarah ke uh, questions bhi they do asked okay uh, terms like mind forged manacles london mein aata hai eternal winter holy thursday eternal eternal winter ye bahut important uh, phrase hai eternal winter eternal winter is coming in holy thursday fearful symmetry tiger ke andar aata hai and crimson joy crimson joy crimson joy the sick rose ये ब्लेक के वर्क्स हैं एंड व्हाट आर यू एबल टू सी के ब्लेक के वर्क्स में द फेमस इंपॉर्टेंट राइटिंग्स William Blake is also like I said he is a sui generis he is having visions he is writing he was a person who was also engraving so that becomes important but please make a note of important lines that are there uh, with the writer because you do get these questions also in your exams okay all right here uh, owl and the nightingale jo middle english work hai uske andar what are you able to see you are able to see that master nicholas of guildford he is basically being the arbitrator between the debate that is going on between the owl and the nightingale who is the arbitrator the arbitrator is master master nicholas of guildford master nicholas of guildford is the person who is acting as the arbitrator so again aapko ye pointers jitne zyada for instance agar aapne anglo saxon anglo norman literature kar bhi liya hai medieval literature kar bhi liya hai you can add these notes back to your notes overall that you have made right so you can just make sure that you add them together that is something that you can keep in mind our almost instinct almost true what will survive of us is love okay these are beautiful beautiful uh, lines that you are able to see and what are you able to see philip larkin is a writer who is uh, writing it and orendel tomb on orendel tomb okay our almost instinct almost true what will survive of us is love then that's so true right that is so true altogether uh, yesterday was 12th may and uh, you know it was my my nanu's uh, death anniversary and uh, the only thing that you remember is of course uh, you know not the bad times but the love the warmth that a person would have given you altogether right and that's so true also so uh, orendel tomb that is what it tells you and this was a part of the witson weddings that is of course important for larkin to abhi hum logo ne ek kar liya tha uh, you know how uh, stephen spender's commemorating orden on his death altogether uh, and orendel's tomb is a work which is coming from the pen of larkin okay so again make these comparisons make sure that you are able to understand it's telling you about love it's telling you about mortality altogether and that is what literature is right and that is what literature is trying to preserve <coughs> only sonnets again yahan पर बाय जॉन डन वॉट आर यू एबल टू सी इट इज अ सीरीज ऑफ नाइनटीन पोएम्स नाइनटीन पोएम्स ऑल टूगेदर होली सोनेट सेवनटीन इज एन एलर्जी ऑन एंड मोर हु डाइड ऑफकोर्स एंड अगेन लव फॉर गॉड मॉर्टैलिटी एवरी थिंग इज बींग कवर्ड भाई मैंने आपको कहा सेवनटीन सेंचुरी पोइट्री चाहे रॉबर्ट हेरिक हो जाए या टेम्पल सीरीज हो जाए सो वॉट आर यू एबल टू सी दे आर डीलिंग विद डिवोशन और एमटरीनेस दो टू इंपॉर्टेंट थीम्स ओवरऑल 
ओके द द कैरेक्टर्स स्मॉल पॉइंटर्स लाइक दिस प्रायरस चौसर के कैंटरबरी टेल्स के अंदर शी इज वेरिंग दिस ब्रोच कॉल्ड लव कॉन्कर्स ऑल राइट एमोर विंसेट एमो ओमोनिया एमोर विंसेट एमोनिया एमोर विंसेट एमोनिया सो दिस क्वेश्चन कम्स इन व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ द प्रायरस द नेम ऑफ द प्रायरस इज मैडम इग्लांटे राइट व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ द प्रायरस द नेम ऑफ द प्रायरस इज मैडम मैडम इग्लांटे कौन सा सोनेट इज रिटन ऑन द डेथ ऑफ जॉन डन्स वाइफ एंड मोर होली सोनेट 17 हाउ मेनी होली सोनेट्स आर देयर होली सोनेट्स 19 कलेक्शन ऑफ पोएम्स बाय जॉन डन सो अगेन दीस आर ट्रिक्स यू विल हैव टू नॉट मग but keep on reviewing and telling your brain about it because the more you're going to be practicing all of these you'll be able to see a better understanding theek hai okay do aur pointers jaldi se khatam kar lete hain then i'll call it a day cuz uh, i've come with my brother that i may rise and stand or overthrow me john dance poem batter my heart 3% god holy sonnet number 14 तो होली सोनेट सभी अभी हम लोगों ने कहा कलेक्शन ऑफ 19 जिसमें सेवनटीन सोनेट इज ऑन द ऑन द वाइफ एंड फोर्टीन सोनेट इज बैटर माय हार्ट थ्री पेन पर्सन गॉड व्हाट आर यू एबल टू सी यू आर एबल टू सी दैट दिस इज अगेन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्क ऑफ मेटाफिजिकल पोइट्री दैट आई मे राइज एंड स्टैंड और ओवर मी Again, AQ, right? That is what the rising part. Eastern wings uh, is also trying to tell you about the same. Okay, please keep that in mind. Okay, uh, and yonder all before us die deserts of vast eternity. To his coy mistress, an example of Capidium that is coming in. To his coy mistress, Andrew Marvel का garden भी हम लोगों ने आज ही करा था, which is trying to privilege contemplative life over a life of action because it's trying to tell you about uh, you know how calmness is equally important. so big connections till the time you won't be making connections it will become absolutely difficult for you to remember acha ab aapko genres bhi pata hone chahiye aajkal simple questions aa rahe hain match the following ke writer aur uska work aur uske genres milton ka work for instance kamu is a mask right kamu is a mask mask of ben johnson right what is it trying to tell you it is trying to tell you about cloistered virtue cloistered virtue is no virtue virtue that is getting virtue that is actually you know so so for instance if i don't allow you to go anywhere and then i say you are away from bad things that is not virtue virtue has to be tested right so uh, you know that's what they are talking about paradise lost is an epic it's a religious epic which wants to justify the ways of god to men लाइक इलियाड इलियाड किसके बारे में है इलियाड बाय होमर इज अबाउट क्लियोस और ग्लोरी इट इज अबाउट क्लियोस और ग्लोरी एंड व्हाट इज ओडिसियस अबाउट व्हाट इज ओडिसियस ऑल अबाउट ओडिसियस इज ऑल अबाउट नोस्टोस व्हाट इज नोस्टोस होम कमिंग सो पैराडाइज लॉस्ट इज ऑल अबाउट टू जस्टिफाई द वेज ऑफ गॉड टू मैन इट इज अ रिलीजियस एपिक दैट ही इज राइटिंग लिसिडियस इज अ पैस्टोरल एलोजी जैसे बुक ऑफ डचेज स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट बुक ऑफ डचेज वी स्टार्टेड ऑन विद बुक ऑफ डचेज वेयर कैरेक्टर ऑफ मॉर्फियस इज कमिंग remember character of morpheus is coming so tricks are basically nothing but tricks are and samson agnes is also called a closet drama it is a closet drama drama meant for the purposes of reading and not being performed so here what you very good sutapa ladlo castle so here till the time you will not make connections whatever you study make connections till the time you will not be following julia christeva's uh, advice that you know all texts are intertext it will become very very difficult for you Okay all right so we'll pause over here and I'll let you go uh, because you know I have to reach back uh, we will continue please stay connected on the telegram platform I'll send the remaining pointers there are a lot of other pointers as well we've only reached at 29th pointer uh, we've only reached at 29th pointer but there are multiple other pointers that I wanted to tell all of you so please remember please remember Yes, yes, Shabnam. A lot of them uh, from different classes of the app. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining in. Please keep the momentum high. Uh, stay connected. I'll share everything on the Telegram platform. Let's aggressively study very hard and make the most. Enjoy the process and clear the exams with flying color. Thanks, everyone, for joining. I really appreciate everyone joining me on Saturday. I will catch up with all of you very, very soon. Fine. Thank you so much. Take good care of yourselves. Bye.